ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಪ್ರಶಾಂತ್ ಪಾಟೀಲ್ ಗೈನ್ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಬೆಳಗಾವಿ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ ಮೈ ಚಾನಲ್ ಪ್ರೆಸ್ ದ ಬೆಲ್ ಐಕಾನ್ ಸೋ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಯು ಗೆಟ್ ದ ನೋಟಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ಕಮೆಂಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಶೇರ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ಐ ಎಮ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪಾಂಡ್ ಸೈನ್ ಇನ್ವರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಅಸೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಪವರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಅಪ್ ಟು ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ತ್ರೀ ನಾನ್ ವ್ಯಾನಿಷಿಂಗ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ascending powers of x is we have to use here maclaurin series for that okay that is we have maclaurin series maclaurin's series as if y of x is a function that can be expressed in the powers of x as y of 0 plus x into y1 at 0 plus x into y2 at 0 plus sorry x square by 2 factorial into y2 at 0 x cube by 3 factorial into y3 at 0 plus x raised to 4 by 4 factorial into y4 at 0 plus x raised to 5 by 5 factorial into y5 at 0 what is that y1 y2 y3 y4 and y5 these are the derivative first derivative of y at x equal to 0 y2 second derivative at x equal to 0 third derivative fourth derivative and fifth derivative and plus so on up to infinite number of terms we are having okay and what is required for us ascending powers of x we have got series up to the first three non vanishing terms first three if i am able to find out y of 0 a non vanishing term that is not equal to 0 y1 at y2 if i am able to find out these values at x not equal to 0 then i have to stop there if not getting then i have to continue okay now let me consider consider y of x is equal to sin inverse of x first i have to find out y of 0 therefore my y of 0 is equal to sin inverse of 0 okay sin inverse of 0 is again 0 we know like that y1 first derivative y1 at x is equal to differentiation of sin inverse of x we are going to get it as 1 divided by square root of 1 minus x square therefore y1 at 0 is equal to 1 divided by square root of 1 minus 0 square that is 1 divided by square root of 1 is again 1 therefore I am going to get 1 this is my y at 0 okay therefore first term is vanished second term I am getting as 1 non vanishing term like that 3 non vanishing terms I have to find out okay to find out next that is y2 at y2 of x differentiation of this will become very lengthy for that reason what I will do I will shift it to the left hand side and simply I will write it as y1 of x that is square root of 1 minus x square into y1 equal to 1 I will write again the term is containing a square root and all those things simplification will become lengthy that's why squaring on both sides and differentiating I will do okay squaring on both sides then we will go to get a 1 minus x square and square root will get cancelled you become 1 minus x square into y1 square is equal to 1 square is 1 now differentiating with respect to x differentiating with respect to x therefore 1 minus x square into differential of y1 square is nothing but 2y1 into differential of y1 is y2 plus y1 square into differential of 1 minus x square is 0 minus 2x equal to differential of right hand side is 0 product rule I have used on the left hand side right hand side is this 0 from this one what I can take common is 2y1 I can take common if I take 2y1 common then I will go to remain it as 1 minus x square into y2 minus 2y1 square out of y1 is gone then it will remain as xy1 must be equal to 0 if 2y1 is also shifted to other side only this will remain which implies 
1 minus x square into y2 minus x y1 must be equal to 0. Using this, I can find out the value of y2. Now, at x is equal to 0, what about this? 1 minus 0 square into y2 minus 0 into y1. y1 value at 0, I have calculated that is equal to 1. Okay, but I am going to get uh, y2 minus 0 equal to 0. Okay, that implies uh, y2 also equal to 0. My y2 also 0, therefore it vanishes. Okay, therefore up to two derivatives, only one term is non vanishing term. Like that, next derivative I will find out. Differentiating with respect to x, this one again. While differentiating with respect to x, product will have to use here. That is, 1 minus x square into differential of y2 y3 plus y2 into differential of 1 minus x square 0 minus 2x and here product rule again minus x into y1 differential is y2 and differential of a minus will come because due to this minus minus y1 into differential of x is 1 which is equal to 0 okay you can simplify this and I can write it as a 1 minus x square into y3 minus minus 2x y1 sorry y2 minus x y2 that will become 3x y2 minus y1 equal to 0. This one I will calculate at x equal to 0 to find out y3 and I will check whether it is a non vanishing term or this one I will get okay at x equal to 0 in this 1 minus 0 square into y3 minus x is 0 term will become 0 minus y1 my y1 value at x equal to 0 is here we calculated it is 1 okay 1 equal to 0 which implies my y3 equal to also 1 sorry y3 is equal to plus 1 like that okay now i have got only two non vanishing term one more non vanishing term i have to find out for that again this one i will differentiate differentiating with respect to x product rule first term that is 1 minus x square into y4 plus y3 into minus 2x differential of 1 minus x square is minus 2x and here minus 3x into y3 minus because of product rule is a plus but due to this minus it will come minus, minus 3y2 into differential of x is 1 minus differential of y1 is a y2 and right hand side equal to 0 okay then i want to find out y4 here therefore at x equal to 0 again at x equal to 0 okay what happens here 1 minus 0 square into y4 plus sorry before that you could have simplified this one minus 2x again it will become 0 and this will also become minus 0 and this will become minus 3 into y2 y2 value is again 0 minus y2 also 0 therefore y4 also equal to 0 I'm getting vanishing term therefore one more derivative I have to calculate so that non vanishing term three non vanishing terms I want to find out now simplify this okay what I'm going to get 1 minus x square into y4 correct minus 2x y3 minus 3x y3 that will become minus 5x y3 minus 4y2 correct this is equal to 0 differentiating this one with respect to x that is 1 minus x square into differential of y4 is y5 plus y4 into differential of 1 minus x square minus 2x minus differential of this is minus 5x into y4 minus y3 into differential of 5x will become 5 correct and here this product is we're done here this one minus 4 times y3 equal to 0 simplify this or put at x equal to 0 you can find out if it is vanishing you can stop here sorry go ahead if it is non vanishing stop here now at x equal to 0 for this what i will get 1 minus 0 square into y5 
minus x is there 0 this will become 0 minus here also x is there 0 minus y3 y3 at x is 1 i got therefore 1 into 5 minus 4 into y3 is again 1 which is equal to 0 which implies my y5 is equal to minus 5 minus 4 minus 9 other side will become plus 9 correct this one i have got the answer for uh, y5 therefore three non vanishing terms i got y5 y3 and my y1 using this in this expansion series i will get the required answer okay i will come back with the series now therefore sin inverse of x is equal to y of x is equal to y of 0 my y of 0 is 0 plus x into y1 at 0 is 1 plus x square by 2 factorial into y2 at 0 is 0 x cube by 3 factorial into y3 at 0 is 1 plus x is to 4 by 4 factorial into y4 at 0 is again 0 as you calculated plus x is to 5 by 5 factorial into y5 at 0 is 9 plus so on but we are stopping here in three non vanishing terms therefore my sine inverse of x is equal to x this is 0 this is plus x cube divided by 6 plus this is 0 this is x raised to 5 9 x raised to 5 divided by 5 factorial 5 into 5 factorial is nothing but 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 20 20 into 3 60 60 into 2, 120 plus so on this is the required sine series sine inverse of x in the powers of x with the non ascend three non ascending powers like this some more examples i am going to solve in my next videos if you not yet subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will get the notifications of my next videos like this video comment and also share this video thank you friends